Uh, hello everyone good afternoon uh, thank you very much uh, for inviting me uh, on this uh, uh, webinar it was really nice listening to all the other panelists so let me introduce myself uh, my i'm deepak jadav uh, founder and ceo of physics motors so uh, what is physics motor is into is like mainly two parts of the ev uh, technology business one is uh, we are designing and manufacturing electric motorcycle uh, and other part of the business is uh, building a drivetrain technology for other oem companies so uh, in in drive in business we are uh, designing uh, bldc motors permanent magnet motors and the, the future research is on the switch reluctance motors and in the bldc and uh, in bldc especially we are into mid motors and uh, hub motor uh, part of the business so here uh, i'm not emphasizing much on my company side uh, all the products and the applications here i would uh, take this opportunity to talk more about the pain points of a startup and uh, how exactly the localization can happen so let's take uh, from the uh, uh, perspective of a drivetrain company like us. So when we design uh, any new product, right? Like uh, we go and approach a lot of OEMs and uh, even they in turn come to us and talk about uh, a new motor to be developed. So typically it happens like a lot of OEM customers uh, want motors, but uh, they don't want to pay for the prototyping cost. It's all like uh, you, you make a prototype for us, we'll test and validate, but uh, a sufficient, a good amount of money goes in making a prototype. And uh, what we want is like uh, uh, the OEM should take up the uh, some of the costs involved in this. So uh, because it's it's initially it's not like mass produced product. It's like a few quantities, and uh, the amount involved is seriously pretty high uh, to customize any new motor. So uh, another thing what we have noticed is like a uh, lot of OEMs, uh, to matter of fact, like even small or mid companies, they don't take tooling charges. The tooling charges is one of the biggest barrier entry for uh, any of the new product development. And other thing, apart from all this, they still want the pricing to be very, very close to uh, Chinese product. And uh, uh, the benchmarking on the pricing is always done to Chinese product, but the performance has to be like far superior than the, uh, or close to or better to the Chinese product. And when we give the sample and it's a very long lit, uh, uh, time in the testing and confirmation, because being a small, uh, small startup, when we put sort of money, we expect the ROI at least to gradually happen. But uh, this cycle, there is a pretty long cycle uh, till the first order comes in. So this is a challenge from a, a, a customer point of view. So next challenge, uh, typically a manufacturing startup phase, right? First is the funding. So when you go and talk to a lot of VCs, the first thing is like they want to uh, avoid manufacturing hardware startups. That too uh, doesn't matter if it is a core technology startups. Uh, so that is the one one funding and uh, that, that perspective needs to change uh, if India has to go in manufacturing. So to emphasize more uh, on the tooling part, right? So tooling, it can't be taken uh, just like uh, we need to pay for the tooling charge. No. So there's serious amount of uh, tooling uh, money goes into making any new product. So China is extremely good in tooling. So I don't know how many of you know this, but they can build very affordable, very, uh, very, very fast uh, tooling. That's why any new product needs tooling to be done. And uh, in India, it is notoriously very, very high. Uh, and uh, a lot of people want to make, uh, I mean, suppliers want to make money out of tooling. Uh, that should not happen. So what, what it should be like, uh, the entry barrier should be very, very less so that new products can come in. So if you look at any manufacturing, right? So there is like mass volume manufacturing and there is something like prototyping. So uh, we call it as like R&D parts manufacturing when the quantities are typically low. And Indian suppliers will find very, very few suppliers who are ready to uh, supply you a very, very good quality machine parts at a very reasonable price. So uh, this is, uh, and, and what we are working is like uh, building a, a, a vendor or supplier is like uh, from the ground up, like how how quality of the machining should be done, uh, it's on time delivery, a finished product. Because in Indian supply, we say like uh, when the part has to be delivered in two weeks, it, it, not, it doesn't get delivered in the right time. So there is like a long lead process. So that doesn't happen because I have opportunity to work with a lot of uh, world-class uh, uh, R&D suppliers uh, in my, from my previous company. So also I have worked with Silicon Valley companies where when they commit something, uh, in two weeks, the part's gonna come in two weeks with the best quality and right as per the drawing, no change. So that assures us like uh, the, the quick lead time and go ahead and uh, deliver the product faster to our customer. Even the rapid prototyping cost in India is like extremely high. So if you go and get something uh, code done for any 3D part, uh, even the plastic part, it, it, it's pretty expensive. It will uh, as good as building another. Uh, for example, if you uh, even the investment casting quotation uh, for uh, getting a few parts done, on a rapid prototyping basis, it's pretty expensive and that comes very close to the building a uh, pressure die casted uh, mold itself. So this has to change. Like at, see, uh, when we talk about manufacturing, like there is like bottom pyramid uh, where the parts are done at the ground level by a lot of small suppliers. 
if the entry level of all this pricing is com coming down that's where we can go and offer and build a product which can my, uh, match any of uh, very good pricing and uh, also the superior build quality so uh, china is extremely good in this all these factors the funding government ensures they get a free uh, free industrial shirt with the high kilowatt of uh, power supply in india just going getting a uh, higher kilowatt uh, i guess a lot of in you, you might be knowing how to, how difficult it is like uh, the amount the setup the bureaucracy is like pretty pretty high so uh, uh, what i what i expect is like uh, something like a tooling cluster where the modes can be made made at a very very reasonable price and there should be a lot of interchangeable modes if you go and study about the uh, like the tooling price right when we design the tooling there can be a lot of common parts and there has to be a way standardized process to reduce current tooling price uh, 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 and the model has to change here so that if, if we can build a lot of new parts and uh, get the products out as quickly as possible so other other uh, pain points what we have seen is like a genuine electronics component sourcing for small volume prototyping uh, even here the reliable source uh, for doing prototyping is like that needs to be well organized because most of the uh, semiconductor is not done in india so it's all uh, this is a very big supply chain uh, that is missing so i come from a semiconductor uh, capital tool manufacturing background and uh, I, I know exactly uh, what happens to a country if there is no fab so we are all dependent on all the south uh, southeast asian countries and uh, to get all the semiconductor and even the rare uh, uh, we are in a drive train business so definitely some of our products do have rare earth magnets and india uh, unfortunately we don't have that uh, rare earth uh, like neodymium magnets and all very powerful magnets so uh, china being superior leader in that uh, that's a one head strong advantage they have even in making the lithium ion batteries and magnets so these are the pain points uh, i've uh, just like in a 5 to 10 minutes i would just like to highlight and uh, we need to think about this uh, if we address the problem at the grassroots level i feel like the end product pricing and quality would be far superior all right so happy to take any questions uh, uh, this is this was uh, our perspective from physics motors thank you very much